In this video, we're going to see how to re rearrange equations when the x term is just a single x term and not a compound term, and it's on the same side of the equation with another term. So we're going to look at three equations. The first equation, the x term is um, positive, and it's just a single term that's joined with. Um, in the second term, the x term is negative, and we can solve this in ways to make things simple for ourselves. In the next term, um, very much like the first term, the x term is positive, but we've got um, some slightly more complicated expressions. So the x term is on its own, so I want to get rid of this add in a by subtracting a, and one way of making that easier is thinking if a whole term changes size, it changes signs. So we've got x equals, I like to think the b was there first, so I put it down first, and it's joined by minus a. So in this next one, the x term is negative. Well, we just talked about if a whole term changes side, it changes signs. So let's change the side, and we get a equals b plus x. And now it's positive, so I'm going to move the b to the other side. Well, the a was there first. It's been joined by b, which is positive on the right-hand side, so it's negative on the left, equals x. And by convention, we have the x first, so it's x equals a minus b. I could have done this quicker. Let's imagine the question being, well, x minus a minus x equals b. So I could say I'm moving the x to this side, so that means the right-hand side is for the x's, which means the non-x terms go on the left. So then I do it in one go, a being joined by negative b, and the x becoming positive x. But again, we don't write it that way round. We put it on the other side, so we have x equals a minus b. And the same thing in both cases. In the last one, um, the left-hand side is obviously for the x's, so I'm going to move these to the right-hand side. The fact that the first term is a squared and the last term is root c it doesn't make any difference. We've just got x equals the b was there first with the plus root c, and it's been joined by minus a squared minus b. What we do notice on the right-hand side now, though, is that we have two um, b terms. And so we've got this positive b at the start and the minus b at the end. They cancel each other out to leave us with x equals root c minus a squared. 